What's going on everyone? Low Tech back here again. Today we're going to be looking at some GameCube gameplay. Uh, right now we're looking at a Nintendo Switch that has Ubuntu, the Switch root build, the L4T 3.2.0. Switch also has Dolphin Emulator installed. If you don't know how to do either of these things, that is install Ubuntu on your Switch, or once you have Ubuntu, install Dolphin on it. If you don't know how to do either of those, I'm going to link the videos in the top of this video. And you can get that, check that out, get that ready on your Switch, and then you can put games on it. But I'm just, with this video, showcasing gameplay from 19 different games. Um, I'm not hiding or, or, or omitting any of the games that don't run. So of the ones that I threw in here, you're getting the results. So there's a few of them that don't run, or they run very slow, or the audio is choppy. Um, those those little clips or segments are going to be a little shorter because they're not just going to stare at a pretty much frozen screen. But it just gives you an idea of where Dolphin is at right now on this build in particular. Um, it's coming along. I would say you have a good shot at running the game you like at an acceptable speed. Um, but you're going to run into plenty that don't. Uh, no matter what settings you do, it's not quite there. With that being said... All the games are run under the Vulkan backend. The OpenGL didn't really make a difference, didn't make it better. In some cases, it made it worse, so I left the Vulkan backend for all of these games. Resolution is 1x for all of them. Uh, no enhancements, no hacks. It just boils down to some games run better than others, especially when you're limited on you know, the horsepower under the hood. Some games will run great, others won't. And sometimes it just takes having either a better optimization of the build, you know, whether it be on a different platform or just having a more powerful device. Uh, my Galaxy S20 blows the switch as far as emulation performance out of the water. Way better. GameCube runs just about everything at full speed. So it really just depends what you have or how optimized it is. So in this, you'll see some games run great and others run horrible. So it's hit and miss. It depends on the game, how demanding it is. All right, so let's get into some gameplay. Hope you all enjoy. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, please uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's, let's take a look. The 3-0. Swings and misses a cutter for a strike. Takes, and it's a strike. Here's the payoff pitch. Strike three called to Glanville. Hit in the air to center. I'm too old to be playing hide and seek.
Avoid the Armada's fire. Aim for Orkney's flagship. Here we go! Hey, Slippy, don't get cocky. Slippy, you've already got bogeys on your tail. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. This happens because you're reckless. Be Army now commencing their volley of cannon 
Empire, Andras's ships are being destroyed one after the other. We can't give up now. Andros is leaving straight ahead. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed. If there's any game in particular you might want to see, or at least test it, shoot me a message in the comments. I'll see what I can do to test it out, let you know how it goes. Um, GameCube on the Switch, I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's not as good as, you know, like I said, the S20 or a more powerful device, but it, it's still worth putting on here and playing if you want it on the Switch. If you want it on your Switch, it's to the point where, yes, it's doable, it's playable in some games. So definitely worth it, worth the time, and just, you know, the fun factor of being able to do it. So again, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a good day.